beautiful people of the internet, it's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up? Home Skillet Biscuit. And today we're reviewing that thing that keeps going on Instagram. The 16, what are these even called? The 16 Eye Magazine Shadows. So, the 16 shadows are a dual eyeshadow that come with a little bitty, like, spongy brushy thing on it. And basically, all across Instagram, they're talking about how cool it is and how quickly you can do your stuff and how quickly you can do your eyes and stuff. And I'm like, okay, bet. Sounds like a good time to me. So I went over to Star Korean because I saw that they had all of them. And I was like, okay, let's see what it do. So I've already swatched all four colors on my arm here. And it's not showing up particularly like bright. So we'll see what it actually looks like on my eye. So there's four colors. I don't know which one I want to use on my eyes. I want to try them all out on my eyes, but considering I only have two eyeballs, let's do all of them on my eyes. Let see, you know. I haven't, you know, it's not the first time I put myself through excruciating pain for this channel, so let's do it. I took them all out of the packaging, so I have no idea what each color is called. That was smart. Good, I still have concealer and powder on from when I did my foundation, so we'll see if that helps or hurts the situation. I'm gonna start off with this one. This one is called Hello Monday. So kind of how these are marketed is that you're supposed to be able to use the little applicator, which is this little brush, go back and forth, and then just put it on your eye. And it's supposed to be like life-changing or whatever. It seems that all of them have like two shimmery colors and then they blend on your eye, which I'm kind of intrigued by. That's pretty. It's kind of weird though. This color in my crease, this like gold color in my crease, but that's how it looks. And it's kind of hard to not look, get a little messy on the outer corner out here for me. So now I'm gonna try my under eye. I don't know if, I, okay, so I'm gonna start with the dark color on this side and see if that What do you guys think? I'm not a huge fan of that, actually. It looks really messy. But not all the colors are equally as shimmery, like loose shimmer. Some of them are more just like shimmer, like more compressed down and compacted together and not like loose glitter. So let's try a different color. This color is called Everyday. It's a similar situation, but it's more of a peach as opposed to like a champagne. So that's the comparison between the two. Everyday is also less warm it seems. So I'm going in, I just go back and forth. I don't know if maybe I put too much on here. Let me tap some off. That will probably help this application process. And I'm gonna go back and forth on my eyelid like they did in the Instagram video. This is just like ergonomically a little awkward. Does that look good? I mean, it did put it on my eye. But it just looks weird to me. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know if you can see on camera, but I have like hella fallout like right here. And it's just, it looks really messy. <gasps> Ooh, I dug it in there bad. In the arms of the angel. But yeah, if I were a beginner, do I think that this would make the eyeshadow process easier? Not really. Well, we still have two more colors and maybe, maybe it's a practice thing, so. We got two more colors. Excuse the real shoddy like concealer job, but we got swatches to do. This one is called Sweet Sunday. It's like a warm brown and a gold. This looks pretty promising. For consistency's sake, I will keep the dark color on the bottom. I don't know if I'm just getting the hang of it, but this one applied a lot more smooth than the other two. It's still kind of hard to control it when it gets to the outer corner over here. I don't know if that's just my eye shape and it's like kind of hard to get things to blend, but Okay, so so far this one was the easiest to apply. Last but not least, 
we have this pink one that I'm actually really excited about because it's rose gold pink and this is hey my day it's like a pink rose gold color Just, I think it's weird because it's so small you don't know how to like tap it off I'm gonna start from the inner corner this time and like eh, it doesn't matter oh that one's pretty of course I knew So definitely these two, if I were going to recommend them, I like these two the most. I feel like the colors flatter each other the best, so they like look nice together. The other two, they're not unflattering. I don't think it worked with my skin tone very well. My camera is trying to remember what I look like apparently. This is a little weird having two different eyes. I think I'm going to go and take the makeup off of this eye and put the pink one on so I can give you my final thoughts. So here we are with a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. I kind of like it. It was shockingly easy to get to this point. Of course, that's kind of the main novelty of these little duos anyway. It's that you can do it in like a jiffy and then your life is set and all is well with the world. And ultimately, I think the look I came up with was pretty. It's pretty and also would be great on my lazy days. So I'm not mad at it. That said, I don't think I need all four of them. I'll probably give two or so away to friends. <laughs> But as far as the last two, the newest colors, number three and number four, um, those are my favorite. Like, I don't think it's a necessity, but I think it's cool if you're like really lazy. And it's cute. I mean, I mean, I think it's worth trying maybe one of them just for the novelty of it. Um, do I think you need all four? No. Well, that's all for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and or found it helpful. If you want to follow me on social media, that's Instagram and Twitter, both of which are KinnyJD. If you're wondering why I have lipstick all over my hands, it's because I just filmed a swatch video today too. So if you haven't seen that video, that'll be somewhere on the screen. And I'll see you guys next time.